Today I'm going to tell you guys what I feel is the best build for the technician in Aliens Fireteam Elite and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to tell you guys what I feel is the best build for the technician in Aliens Fireteam Elite. And if you guys want to see more Aliens Fireteam Elite content in the form of class builds, experience farming, official and fan mail lore, news updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Okay, so let me start this off by saying this build is going to help optimize your damage output in difficulties like extreme and insane for the story mode and the same difficulties for horde mode however keep in mind that everyone's play style is different and there might be a weapon that you may like that another person feels is too slow or doesn't reload fast enough there will be timestamps in the description to the different sections of this video, so feel free to skip ahead to the section that you want to know more about. Before we get into the build, let's take a look at the Technician class itself. The Technician is a close to mid-range class using handguns and CQW. Its two abilities are Sentry Turret, which deploys a turret directly in front of you, it automatically fires at enemies, and can be picked up and redeployed. The second ability is called Charge Coils, where you toss a device that lodges itself onto the targets and unleashes directed electrical shocks in the area, damaging enemies and reducing their movement speed. Accompanied to these two abilities are the class perk, which is called Cross-Platform Synergy, where allies standing near your turret take 10% less damage. When you stand near your turret, it regenerates 5% of its HP every second. These abilities and perks are what makes this class beautiful, like a butterfly. So let's go ahead and get into the weapons and attachments that I like to use. Real quick, I do want you guys to know that all of these weapons are maxed out in order to get the highest benefit out of each weapon. Now when it comes to weapons and mods, I look for three things, weak point damage, stumbling, and extra damage. And because of that, the very first weapon we're going to talk about is the Kramer 50 cal Magnum. This is a single shot hand cannon and definitely one of the best weapons in the game. As for the mods, we are going with the Vented Flash Hider, which gives me 25% weak point damage plus 5% range on hit for 3 seconds. This effect can stack up to 5 times. Next, we are also using the Drop Magazine. This gives me 30% reload speed as well as 20% magazine capacity. And then last, we are using the Green Dot Sight. This gives me plus 20% weak point damage as well as 30% effective range. Now, you can use whatever paint you want. However, the first two tiers of this weapon gives me plus 5% accuracy on both. The third tier gives me plus 5% effective range, and then the last one gives me plus 5% range and 2.5% damage for 5 seconds on reload. Now, this weapon has great accuracy as well as stability. However, I really don't feel like this weapon really needs that much stability since it is single shot and it is extremely accurate. Now, if you did not want to use the Kramer, I do have a couple other options. You can use the Twin Hammer as well as the Type 95 Combat Pistol. And you can use the same um, mods on those weapons. However, do not, I repeat, do not go ahead and try to use the N79 Ava Laser. This weapon is total garbage. It takes way too long to shoot and sometimes you can even miss your shot. Stay away from this gun. Next, for the CQW slot, we are using the M37A3 pump shotgun. As for the mods, we are using the boosted flash hider, which gives me an effective range of plus 25. However, this also gives me plus 40% weak point damage for 5 seconds on kill. And this effect does not stack. However, that plus 40% weak point damage uh, for 5 seconds on the kill is huge when you are actually like shooting other enemies. 
Then we have the overloaded rounds, which gives me plus 15% on the mag capacity, as well as it triggers a small thermal explosion on weak point hit. Also, 5% hit damage within a 2.5 meter radius. Next, we use the hybrid sight. This gives me plus 30% accuracy, as well as plus 20% weak point damage. As for the perks, the first two give me plus 5% reload time, and then the third one gives me plus one bonus projectiles, and then lastly, the fourth one, enemies take an additional 0.36% damage on hit for five seconds. This effect stacks per projectile that hits. Now, once you have this maxed out, 13 projectiles are what actually goes out. And 0.36 times 13 is 4.68 damage. That is amazing damage for this shotgun. And just like the Kramer um, hand cannon, this is definitely one of the better shotguns in the game, if not the best shotgun in the game. Now, if you wanted to go and use a different shotgun or a different weapon, I definitely would go ahead and use the Type 21 Tactical Shotgun. And if you're not into shotguns, um, I would actually say the M39 Submachine Gun is an okay weapon to use. Next, let's go ahead and go over consumables. For this build, we use two consumables, the Static Grid as well as the Cryo Grid. In short, both the static grid and the cryo grid slows the enemy's movement, but in different ways. The static grid uses electricity to slow enemies while the cryo grid actually freezes them. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the technician grid. But before we get into the technician skill tree or the technician grid, you need to keep in mind that when doing harder difficulties, you cannot just run and gun. You need to be smart about every encounter or you and your teammates will die. With that said, I have tried many different builds for the Technician, and I feel that this one is by far the best the class has to offer at the moment. I say at the moment because with buffs and nerfs, anything can change. Let's go ahead and start with the left side of the screen and work our way counterclockwise. So as I had mentioned, we are using the Sentry Turret. However, we are actually going to change the turret to the Incinerator Turret which deploys a more durable turret in front of you, which sprays flames at enemies that get close to it. Next, we are also using dynamic delivery system, which your turret now fires 10% faster and deals 25% more damage to armor targets. Armor targets would be drones, warriors, praetorians, etc. Then with that, we are coupling it with force multiplier four, which increases the damage of an ability by 22%. Also, we have creative pain point solutions, which you and your turret deal 10% more damage to slowed enemies. Combine this with charged coils and you are doing massive damage. Now you get creative pain point solutions from opening caches on harder difficulties. I actually got this on intense, so it's not the standard difficulty, but it's just the one above it. Next, we have Resonating Impact, which whenever you or your turret stumble a target, and you will stumble a lot of things with this build, they take 10% more damage for six seconds. Your turret gains a 10% chance to stumble. With this, we are coupling Deep Leverage, which when you or your turret shoot a target affected by Resonating Impact, they have a 15% chance to be knocked down. A target can only be knocked down this way once every 10 seconds. Now we are not going to spec anything into cross-platform synergy because this build is primarily for DPS damage with your turret and actually using the charged coils to slow enemies down. So going with the charged coils, we have extended duration four which increases the duration of an ability by 22%. Then we have Compatibility Matrix, which while this ability is active, you deal 10% more damage, and this stacks up to three times. Best thing about it is Charge Coil gives you three different coils. So, 
We also have disruptive technology, which charge coils also reduces the damage dealt by affected enemies by 25%. So as soon as an enemy goes into your charge coils, they do 25% less damage. Next, we have Extended Duration 2, which increases the duration of an ability by 13%. Then we have Enhanced Reach 3, which increases the radius of an ability, which in this case will be Charged Coils, by 18%. And then last but not least, we have Down and Out, which you deal 20% more damage to enemies that are stunned or knocked. Now, if you wanted to switch out some of these perks with any other perks, I do have recommendations for ones that you can use that way it can fit your playstyle. Starting with Keep and Pin, which enemies you shoot deal 10% less damage for 4 seconds, and this does not stack. Next we have Technician CQW Expertise, which increases the magazine capacity and ADS movement speed of CQWs by 15%. Now as you can see on screen, it does say not compatible with current perks, so you will have to add one of the CQW perks in order to actually attach this to that. Next, we have Real-Time Resource Reclamation, which, when your turret is destroyed, it explodes dealing damage to nearby enemies, reduces the base recharge time of your turret by 5 seconds. And then last but not least, we have the Hyperlocal Logistics, which increase your turret's health regeneration rate while you are near, and your turret fires 10% faster while you are near it. So, that rounds out the build of the Technician class. I will keep it up to date in the event that we get any changes to the class, and I will make another video detailing any of the changes that I make. Let me know down in the comment section below which class you guys want to see the next build on, whether it be the Gunner, Demolition, Doc, Recon, or the Phalanx. When all of the videos for the different classes are put together and completed, I will put them in the description of each video, that way it'll make things easier when you guys want to look for a different class. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you like the Alien Universe, come join the Everything Xenomorph Discord. Everyone is welcome. You can make new friends, LFG in games like Aliens Fireteam Elite on Extreme or Insane Difficulties, talk about the movies, and show off your art, cosplay, or collectibles. We have a little over 90 members and we continue to grow each day. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.